All right, hello and welcome back to Grand Theft Auto 5. Uh, we just did that uh, big old government shootout thingy, and we're going to switch back to Franklin, because Franklin actually has a mission available apparently right now, which is kind of cool. And it's pretty much the only thing that is available right now. It says he has two missions, but I, like I said before, I believe one of those is the uh, UFO thing, which I will deal with on my own time. So we got to head a little ways up the hill. Why did he get this car? Why was he driving around in this car? It's very random. Kind of don't want this car. Let's ditch this piece of crap here. This looks a little bit better. God damn car alarms. Oh well. It's amazing that more cars don't have car alarms in this game because pretty much most cars have car alarms. They come from the factory with them. It's very weird that mo more cars don't have them in this game. People just must not use them very much, which they probably should considering how many cars get stolen. Right, where the hell are we going? This is back up to Franklin's house, isn't it? I believe this is up to Franklin's house. Oh my god, why did that car just turn so badly? I was in like super duper driver mode and it still turned like crap. Go figure. Don't let you do it. We have room in the garage for one. Can I jam two cars in the same garage? I mean they both fit, right? What's the harm? Does the door close? Or will the door not close with two cars? It looks like a two-car garage to me. See, I know this is dumb and it doesn't really matter, but... I want to try to arrange this a little better. I don't really care about doing damage to the cars because they heal themselves magically. Just curious if this is a two-car garage. If two cars can fit, it should be a two-car garage. That's my opinion. For whatever reason, in Vice City, I actually cared a lot about cars and stuff. Does it close? It sure doesn't, but... Oh, no, it did. It did. We're good. There's just always random music going, and that plant just exploded. That was weird. It just done exploded. This is what he does. I thought that was like a space chair. That's a fireplace. That's a cool fireplace. Oh, hey. Hey. What you doing here? I mean, I'm real glad you're here. Come this here. is his girlfriend, isn't it? What's up, babe? Look, it's Lamar. What that fool want now? It's your best friend. He's your best fucking friend. For real. My best friend. My homeboy, right? My nigga. Man, fuck you. I mean, not like that, man. But no, he ain't. He just another nigga from the hood. Him, stretching all the motherfucking clowns. All he want to do is drag a motherfucker down and live in the past. And this is the future? A big empty house with nobody who gives a fuck about you. Well, shit, it works for me. It can work for you, <laughs> hey. I'm getting married, Franklin, to a doctor, not a murderer. Man, what the fuck you doing here, Tanisha? I'm worried about Lamar. You got to help him, Franklin. Man, that shit is over. Oh, I'm a legitimate businessman now, sister. I'm a CEO, an investor. I'm a Illuminati. I'm a fucking moron, nigga. You a phony fuck. What? I ain't saying you gotta marry the fool. I'm saying he's about to get killed over that deal you and him put on with Stretcher set him up. Oh, fuck, man. My whole fucking life I've been looking after this motherfucker and paying the price afterwards. Fuck. Well, at least do it one more time, Franklin, for me. For you? For you and your doctor? I love you and Lamar. We grew up together, but this life ain't for me, and you knew that. You ain't changing. I don't care how many cars you own, how many apartments you own, I don't care how many diamonds you put in your ear, it ain't for me, not done bad or done good. Hey, look, I'll change. No, you won't, and that's fair enough, but at least respect what you do, who you are. If you let that idiot die, you a bigger asshole than I thought. Look, he's going up to some sawmill near Polito Bay. Ugh, you do what you gotta do. Oh man, Polito Bay is really far away. That's going to take a little bit of time. Oh well. Shouldn't take too, too long. Franklin, what's up? Hey man, 
I'm in a bit of a bad situation. My boy Lamar got set up. I think he up near Polito Bay at some sawmill with some ballers. Could you, like, do some computer magic and look into it? Is that possible at all? It should be. I've got a back door into the Polito Bay police network left over from the score we did up there. Uh, give me a second here. Uh, hold on. Uh, yes. So what it say? Huh. Uh, this must be it. Uh, there are older reports of a weed operation being run by an African-American gang. Uh, the files got buried, so uh, I'm guessing they paid off the cops. They growing weed up there? Growing it in the hills, most likely, but... If they might be packing and shipping it out of this sawmill. I'd expect a fair few of them up there. Shit. And I'm gonna need some help. Can you tell Mike and Trevor to meet me up there? They still aren't getting along that well. Tell them it's for me, and it's serious. Thanks, man. I'm sure Trevor will show up because he likes to kill people and Michael's my good friend. I'm sure this is all cool. Um, like I said before, Franklin is by far my favorite character out of the three of these guys. I like him quite a bit, actually. He's quite likable, in my opinion. You can, you can kind of relate to him, you know? Michael I can't relate to so much. I don't know if this is me, but, you know, I find Franklin to be the by far the most relatable. Kind of the most interesting, too. Although Lamar, I still don't like that much. Although he did win me over a little bit with that drive we went on. That was a pretty good discussion with uh, Trevor on the way out there to deliver those cars. I actually really enjoyed that little thing. I think the voice actor who does him is pretty good. I don't know who it is. His voice kind of sounds familiar. I've seen him in something, but I'm not always good with that kind of stuff. Unless it's like somebody from Star Trek or something that I've watched an awful lot and I know their voice real well. I'm usually not that good at identifying people's voices, like celebrity voices, so he could be anybody, really. Oh, we are making good time here, but... Oh god, we're getting on dirt roads now, though. Oh lordy. Which way? Are you? Oh my god, hippies. Alright, well, I'm just gonna meet you there at this point. Alright, well, we have reached the place. It's right down there. I think I'm about taking a shortcut here just a little bit. I don't know how good of an idea this is. It worked out. Oh, the car is probably a little bit stuck, so we'll finish on foot. Or will we? I need the Skyrim horse right about now. That would... Oh, pfft. nice. Smooth move, man. Smooth move. Can we get up the other side? Probably could with the car with this side. Oh, well. Hey, look who showed up. Hey, hey, hey. Why'd you invite this stoolie, huh? We want Lamar to be rescued, not sold to the feds. Give it a rest, asswipe. Man, what y'all two shut the fuck up? Now, let's take a look at this place, man. Lester said this was some type of big weed store spot. Place is crawling with ballas, you know? Now, me and you, we don't mind the old gang warfare, but suede bucks over there. <laughs> yeah. Tell Trevor I said, bite me. Man, I said, shut up. Now, I see the weed, but where the fuck is Lamar? Oh, shit, there you go. You know what? Tell Trevor I'm gonna be up on this hill with my rifle. I don't want to be anywhere around him when he fucks this whole thing up. Classic. Classic, huh? He's already planning his escape. Oh, fuck. This is not gonna... Come on, guys. You guys gotta get along. So I'm gonna he's just... Alright, we'll just... freaking do this, I guess. Go to any marked position to choose an assault path. I well, I don't... <laughs> we'll try out the bulldozer. I like the look of the bulldozer. It'll cause some damage. Hey, I'm gonna get in position. Hey, I got a good advantage. I'll see what I can do up here when the time comes. I, I probably best shot is coming at him from two different directions. All right, I'll take that on board. I probably would have been better off sending Trevor over here, Frank, but we'll attack on your 
signal. All right, let's do this. I'll take out whoever I can. I'm moving. All right, well, the bulldozer ought to be kind of distracting, I would imagine. Well, they could only have a limited number of people. Franklin is actually kind of a hero in all this, too. I mean, they're not good people, but he does have loyalty to his friends, at least. God, those guys over there are going to suck. All right, we got to just move up, I guess. <laughs> All right, sending him on that was actually worth it just for that. All right, so where do we need to actually go? Oh my lord! Hey, that ball is packing a rocket launch. Mike, we need to take this guy out. Can you see him? I can get him right now. Oh god, there's another one. I still hear shooting happening. Oh, God. Cover, 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 cover. Mm. You got a friend of ours. See how this works out. Pretty good. Glad I was in cover for that. Alright, cool beans. We're running out of ammo. No, we're not running out of ammo for this yet, but probably should be a little bit. Chamberlain gangster families for life, motherfuckers! This seems like another great grenade may be appropriate. I think I might have just taken out. Where's he at? I think most of these guys are in much of a position to be talking. Man, that guy is a trooper. Right, let's see if we can get a little bit more than that. These guys talk a lot of crap considering how many of them we have killed. Where? I know Trevor's up there somewhere. I don't see him. Oh, that there he is. Wow, man. Put him down, man. All right, where's Lamar? Look at this guy. I was going to shoot him all sneaky like. Man, die. We getting out of here, dog. Oh, fancy seeing you here, motherfucker. Yeah, huge coincidence, huh? Come on, man. We're in a little bit of a bad way again here. I'll fall back and find a place where everybody's kind of focused on one side here. All right, this is a little better. All right, that guy. Guy dead. Oh, oh no, don't go up there. What are you doing, man? What are you doing? 